Hello all. In this video, we are going to learn that how to solve equilibrium problems. Let us do with this example. In this question, a block of mass M is hanging from two threads from a wall and ceiling as shown. One string is horizontal. You can see this one. This string is horizontal and the other is making angle theta with the ceiling. Find the tensions in the two strings under equilibrium condition. So it's a very strategic process that first step we have to do is to draw the free void diagram of the block. So step number one is draw the free void diagram of the block. Now while you are making free void diagram the first thing that you should think about is the gravitational force. So gravitational force always acts in the vertically downward direction. So mass of the block is m so therefore mg is the gravitational force acting in the vertically downward direction. Now what about these two strings? These strings will become tight. Let us say the tension in this string becomes T1 and tension in this horizontal string becomes T2. Now what are the directions of this tension T2 acting on this block? So the concept is here. The important note about tension that you should remember is that tension always pulls. So how does this left thread pull the block? It will pull in the leftward direction. So the direction of force exerted by the horizontal thread would be in the leftward direction as shown and also the direction of tension will be along the thread. Similarly, this upper thread will also pull the block along this theta direction with the tension T1. After we have drawn the tension T1, T2, what we will do? We will make the horizontal and vertical components of the tension T1. So let us draw here the horizontal and vertical. Firstly, I am drawing vertical component. Then you draw the horizontal component. Now here we can see that the thread is making angle theta with the horizontal. So here also the angle made by tension T1 will be theta with the horizontal. So therefore the horizontal component will be T1 cos theta. Remember that whenever you are making components of rectangular components of any vector then the component which makes angle theta with the vector is the cos theta component. And the other component which makes 90 minus theta angle with the vector will be sin theta component. So this vertical component will be T1 sin theta. Now step number 2. Step number 1 is over making the free void diagram. Step number 2 is that we have to equate the forces for equilibrium condition. We will say that upward direction force must balance the downward direction force for equilibrium condition and the leftward direction force must balance the rightward direction force for equilibrium conditions or in other words in the x and y directions if you say horizontal means x and vertical means y then for equilibrium condition we should say that the summation of all the forces along x direction must be 0 and the summation of all the forces acting along the y direction must be 0. So if the total force in the x direction is 0 that means this rightward force T1 cos theta must be equal and opposite to the leftward force T2 and upward direction force T1 sin theta must be exactly equal and opposite to the downward force mg. So therefore we will write down according to these two equations that the force T1 sin theta must be equal to mg and the force T1 cos theta must be equal to T2. So these are our two equations. Now from the first equation we can easily write down that the tension T1 must be equal to mg divided by sin theta. That is one answer and from the second equation T2 is equal to T1 into cos theta that means mg 
divide by sin theta which is t1 and multiplied by cos theta therefore we can say t2 is equal to mg cot theta so these are the two answers of this question and the problem is solved thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe